All right, guys, I'm trying something new here. I just got a new toy. This is the indoor arrow garden in home gardening system. Um, I got the herb package, so I'm curious and excited to see how this grows. All right, so inside the box um, comes this Air Garden UV light machine. This has everything that you need to grow your plant or herb indoors. And like I said earlier, I got the Gourmet Herbs Kit. It comes with six pods. Also inside the box comes the power cord. Along with the six pods, this also comes with um, the food that you'll need to grow, to put in the water, um, so that your arrow garden will grow. Let's see how this goes. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug this in so that my UV light will have power. Ta-da! So I still have to get to know these buttons, but it looks like there's an indicator that tells you when to add the food, when to add water, and the on and off button for the lights. It's pretty cool. It seems very easy. Easy peasy. So the next thing I'm going to do is add water to this chamber here. And it looks like it has an indicator of where to fill the water up to. So I'm going to go ahead and get some water. Alright. I'm just going to add about four liters of filtered tap water. Nothing fancy. about two liters there. Alright, so I filled up the water just about there, but check this out you guys. You can already see the system working. So once I put the pods in, this is what's going to aerate the whole pot and the whole system and make sure that it consistently gets water and light. Alright, so inside this box, uh, it looks like we have the six pods, um, as mentioned on the outside. Um, this looks to be the plant food, we have the liquid plant food, and then six domes because we're going to have to cover the pods um, in order to create some condensation for it to sprout. Um, one tip that I did get is each one of these pods are going to come with indicators of how tall the plants are going to grow. For example, this one's mint, it's going to grow, well it's going to sprout in about six to ten days and it's about a medium height. I heard that it was best practice to put anything, like this one for example is a shorter height, um, any short plants towards the front, and any longer or tall plants um, like this Genovese basil right here towards the back so that there's room to harvest and the light distribution is even, things like that. So this one I will put towards the back. Just like that. Let's see what else we have here. This is time. Time is short. So I'll put that there. Parsley is short. I'll put that towards the front as well. Some Thai basil, it's medium. Mint is medium. So let's put the parsley up here. And it looks like dill is tall. So this is my setup. I just watched a few videos and got these tips. You guys definitely don't have to do it this way, but this is what I'm going to to give this a shot um, and then the last thing we have to do is just add the plant food so this says to add four millimeters every two weeks um, for about six to seven pods we'll need two capsules so that's what I will be adding to this contraption there's one capsule and then here is number two And the very last step is to add these garden domes, these arrow garden domes, until the seeds sprout. There it goes. It fits right on. 
I'm so excited to see when these plants will start to sprout. And ta-da, we are done. I'm gonna let these babies, I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'll check the water every now and then, and every two weeks, I'll go ahead and add the plant food, but um, I'll keep you guys updated once these sprout and see how big this garden gets.